Hello everybody, it's Tuesday, uh, September 17th, 2019. We're going to go over gearing today. Um, a subscriber asked me if I could do a video on gearing. He also asked for mountain bike gearing, but I'll be very honest with you. I don't even have a mountain bike right now. The only mountain bikes I have are my retro mountain bikes. And uh, I don't think they're going to be good ideas because gearing has changed so much with one buy and all the other different disciplines in mountain biking in general. Uh, I think you're going to be confused enough by road gearing. So that's what I'm going to stick to, what I feel I'm most knowledgeable about. Okay, we're going to start with the All City. The All City is what we call a compact gear set. So what that means is the front chain ring is a 50 34. So the big chain ring is a, a 50, the inner chain ring is a 34. Um, the rear is an 1128. So it's an all city steel bike. So this is what most bikes come with nowadays. Stock bikes usually are going to be compact gearing. And that's because the masses can push these gears. It helps you with climbs. Um, it's a little easier. Um, and it's what you're going to find on most bikes right now. Now, let's get into more race type uh, gearing. This is what we call a subcompact. This is a 5236 with an 1128 in the back. Yeah, the rear cassette's about the same as the cassette on the All City. This is the Focus um, Kayo uh, carbon, full carbon bike with disc uh, wheels on it. This bike is not designed for low gearing. This bike is designed to go fast. It's not designed to carry bags. It's not designed for commuting. It's designed for going fast. Okay, so about the only thing this bike will be carrying are water bottles and a rear bag sometimes and me. That's it. Uh, the max tire is about a 700 by 25. It's designed for speed. So uh, this is only a Tiagra setup too. I have a bike with sub subcompact gearing on it that is Ultegra as well, and uh, that runs the exact same gear ratios. Now, if you're looking for touring, loaded riding, uh, something very traditional, my Salsa Marrakesh has a triple chain ring, really wide gears in the back. I think it starts at a 12, ends at a 36. The front, dude, I don't even know what they are, but... <laughs> it's got an inner chain ring that's a 24. So it's uh, three chain rings up front, which is traditional touring with a uh, long cage rear derailleur. This is an all steel bike. Now, why so low gears, people ask, or such low gears, people ask? Well, because the bike's designed to carry, <coughs> excuse me, is designed to carry loads. The bike itself is very heavy. I think 35 pounds out of the box. The way you see, actually not out of the box, it's about 32 pounds out of the box. The way you, sit, you see it sitting right now, it's about 35 pounds. And those panniers in the back aren't even loaded. <laughs> so it's got a front rack, rear rack, really fat tires, 700 by 42. I mean, that's fatter than my, uh, than my gravel back bike tires. That is a fat tire. Um, but the tire's so wide because you want the bike to be compliant. It's a steel bike. And steel traditionally is very comfortable, but loaded down, you really want to make a more compliant ride. So they put a big old fat tire on it. And it's a great tire. It's the Max's Roamer. Uh, only max uh, pressure on it is about uh, 70 PSI. I really like this bike. Unfortunately, my touring aspirations didn't really work out. I think it was more of watching too many... Uh, pathless pedal videos and watching Russ, you know, tour around and, you know, screw around on his bike, even though he gets the gearing all wrong. Um, this is what I'm about. I really like the All City. I like the compact gearing. Easy to climb. Uh, you could keep up with most roadies on it who aren't like racing roadies or Cat 1s or Cat 2s, but anything below a Cat 2, you could stay up with them. You want to go above a cat too you really got to get a fast bike you got to get a lightweight bike you got to get a stiff bike and that's what the focus is all about it's pure speed and like i said i have another all carbon bike i didn't bring it out that would be my fuji sl super light um subcompact gearing 
um, and really designed to go fast. So hopefully that answers the questions about gearing. I know gearing kind of confuses people. Here's the best way to think about it. If you could push the gear, push it. If you can't, man, get lower gears. I, I mean, I don't know how else to tell you. I'm lucky enough to have a variety of bikes that allow me uh, to do just about anything. So uh, that's one thing I love about bicycles and why I'm so passionate about it is simply because there's just so much cool stuff out there that I could explore, try, and just enjoy. If you guys have questions, please ask.